is literally so close to us he's literally like 10 feet away we're like on this rocky canyon he is literally right there is he gonna come up on shore will he oh he just went under that is so cute Dropping the crab trap down. Got our line. Get to a loop. Going to drop it down there and uh, see if we can get any crabs in this little cove here. Dropping the float and we are good to go. Let's go catch some cod or perch or something back at the shore. Hey guys, so uh, I've got this beauty little ling that I actually just hooked out there on the kayak. Unfortunately, we were unable to revive this fish, so uh, he's going to have to be our dinner plate. But uh, he's a nice one. He's uh, about a pound, maybe 12 inches. And uh, yeah, beauty, we're going to relish this fish and uh, catch him and cook him up. Going to get some more fish for you. Hey guys, second fish of the day. A little rock fish. Nice one. He's about foot foot and a half and uh yeah he's a nice chunky rockfish I'm gonna cook him up for dinner as well as the little ling i caught over there i'm um, sorry the little ling like he accidentally died but we actually bonked this guy because uh well he yeah this guy could make a good feast beautiful nice little rock cod and uh gonna go out there on the kayaks and get some more so guys uh we've actually got our third fish of the day and it's uh, another nice rockfish it's a bit bigger than the last one. The last one's down there on the rocks. But uh, this guy, well, I don't know why, but that guy's swim bladder came out. So this guy uh, didn't. So we're actually gonna try and get the release on him. No, yours is right there. Yeah, it did. Nice one. I'm gonna see if he swims off. If he if he's okay to swim off, then we'll let him go. But if if we can, yeah, there he goes, beauty. Let him go. Woo! Uh, I think we're gonna call it a day. It's about 10, 30, 11, and we're gonna go sleep and get up early and catch some more. Guys, we got our first rock cut of today. Uh, it's second day out here on secret little paradise off the coast of Vancouver slash Vancouver Island and uh, yeah beautiful little rock cod about a pound and a half maybe two pounds 13 inches heavy fish but uh, yeah we're gonna cook them up with the other two and uh, have them for dinner it's a good one but uh, we're actually just cruising along there with the kayaks a uh, little hoochies tipped with bits of salmon and bacon and uh, we just jig them by the kelp beds and catch loads of these little guys and kelp greenlings. Only caught one kelp greenling, but uh, caught two rock cod last night. So yeah, it's great. There's actually a spider crab in the water there. I'm going to go get them and show up to you guys. So uh, yeah, get back to you with another fish. But before, a spider crab. A little dude. Nice little spider crab. It's a uh, male. Male spider crab, and yeah, it's legs. It's going back out there for a, a cod to eat. Beauty cod, gonna get some more. Hey guys, so whoa, we've got a little rock cod. Just caught it here jigging on a pink hoochie tipped with some salmon. He's a flopper, but uh, we're gonna get this guy back in the water because he's too small to keep. Well, he's just uh, caught himself a nice little cod. Hold him up for us. 
Beauty, get him unhooked and get the release. Beauty one. So, uh, we actually just pulled up a crab trap right here in this bay. And, uh, I think I'm gonna like what's in it. It's actually, he is still alive. He's just faking dead. Uh, look, you can see still moving. It's, uh, uh, like, whatever you call it, uh, like, fair size, like, good enough. It's the size limit of a rock, red rock crab. So uh, I found a couple dead little dungeonists, but uh, I thought they were, we were gonna catch dungeonists, but uh, yeah, we caught a red rock crab on a salmon head. He ate the salmon and the, he ate the salmon. Uh, he ate the cheek and the eye. So yeah, we're just gonna open this up right now and uh, get the crab out. So we actually uh, just took the crab out of the trap. Ollie just got a quick pick, but uh, here he is. Beauty, nice size red rock crab. He is still alive, but we gotta boil him alive, so I don't know why. Like, I, I wish there was a more, I mean, I don't know if this way is inhumane, but I wish there was a more, a way you know they would die quick. Like, I think they die Stop. quick, but. <laughs> But uh, it's estimated this guy could. Whoa, he could still pinch me hard if he wanted to. He's got a little. He's got a really little claw, and he's got a humongous beefy claw. So, yeah, beauty. We're gonna cook him up, and uh, yeah, That's we're going. Actually, going to. They only have to be four and a half inches from shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, this guy. Rock. This guy's five and a half inches, so uh, he's uh, he's like five an inch over the size limit. So uh. We're good to keep them, gonna have a meal, and uh, right now we're getting the rods rigged and going cod fishing. Just icing it, but uh, yeah, we got two pieces of meat, cleaned them down by the beach, and uh, yeah, gonna cook them up, and now we're going cod fishing. So, got a beauty little rockfish. Beauty, swam off into the depths, out here on a little comb in a secret island, and all these over there, and uh, Ooh, we're just getting stirred up by the wake of that gigantic tugboat over there. So uh, hopefully we don't flip the kayak. And yeah, using bits of salmon bits and on a little pink hoochie rig with some slit shots. So uh, yeah, it works really well jigging it. Ollie's getting some over there, getting lots of bites. So uh, yeah, going to fish until, what time is it now? It's 9.31. We're going to fish until about... 11 so yeah that's how light it is right now and uh the tide's going out and there's lots of little fish jumping so uh it's a great time to start fishing. ollie just lost all his tackle to a cod but uh yeah, i managed to catch a cod so uh yeah gonna get him back and uh yeah. gonna go back okay so uh yeah ollie lost his hoochie and his buzz bomb to a uh, cod but uh beautiful wow Beautiful, it's 11 o'clock and yeah, we're gonna go back inside now. So yeah, got two more days of fishing. Hopefully we can pay off in those. The pool is insane. So this is where we threw his guts. There's so many crabs and fish eating them. And right here, there's actually an anemone engulfing something. It's right there. He's engulfing a piece of crab which is crazy I've never actually seen an enemy eat and right on top of them there's lots of crabs this pool is absolutely full of life just a bunch of little bullheads gobies blennies lots of little fish and some crabs and then there's anemones and that is a gigantic limpet shell right here that's a decent sized one hold on a sec zoom out this is a gigantic limpet shell Right there, pretty. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna get the cod rigs ready. Get out in the kayaks. First one of the day for us. Yep. Let him go, bud. Oh, nice one. Beauty, gonna. Ooh, yeah, my shins are bleeding because I tripped on a rock. Anyways, gonna get back to fishing pretty quickly. Yeah, let's get back to fishing. 
guys, we got our uh, first cod of the day. Ollie just went in with a, a cod actually broke his line and uh, that's the second time this trip with a hooch, hoochie and a buzz bomb. Uh, quite an expensive rig to lose, but uh, yeah, this guy's going back. Beauty, gonna get some more. That guy fought pretty hard. These guys fight so hard for their little size. They make up for it in fighting. So uh, yeah, gonna get dropped dropping the jigs back down there uh, I never realized how deep it actually was so uh, I think I'm beginning to realize a pattern here and uh, catch some more fish so yeah gonna drop it back down and see if we can get some more hey guys we've got actually a different whew, species here it's called a uh, kelp greenling kelp greenling beautiful fish nice spotted pattern gonna get some pictures and let him go here he goes Beautiful fish. Nice one. Caught him on the hoochie and salmon again. Uh, yeah, kayaking out here on uh, this little bay again. So uh, that is my second or third fish of the day. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, gonna get back out there and get some more. Crabs in the pot. This crab truly is delicious. Good meat in it. And yeah, we're gonna get back out there soon. Do some cod fishing after we have some dinner here so yeah it's gonna be good got an absolute monster rockfish yeah. that bent your rod so much I thought that was that was fighting like a like a salmon but uh yeah gonna get them back in the water and uh gonna get some more hopefully this rod tip goes off soon guys got a my biggest rockfish of the trip, actually. Ollie just went in. I don't know if he's gonna keep his uh, big one, but uh, this is almost just as big as the one he caught. Caught in the same lure we're using. Oh, and everything, but uh, yeah. This has been a great experience. Uh, we're fishing today, the rest of the today, and then tomorrow, and then we are actually going bass fishing in uh, on Vancouver Island for a couple of days. So uh, yeah, this is a small island off uh, Vancouver Island and we're just uh, jigging for cod on the coast here and uh, some kayaks. So yeah, it's been uh, pretty fun uh, using hoochies, as I said before, tipped with salmon and uh, yeah, just jigging it up and down at a depth of about 60 feet and uh, we just, yeah, catching, absolutely slaying these cod. My shins are pretty bashed up from hopping from rock to rock and uh, yeah, it's just been a great time. Found lots of starfish, tide pools. It's awesome here. It's like a paradise for, it's, it's not what you would call a tropical paradise, but uh, it's a paradise in its very own way. Uh, we're drifting here a bit, so uh, we've got to get back out there and we are going to catch some more. experience to that little island it was a great trip I loved it so much caught it was just my kind of lifestyle you know unfortunately on the last day though as you just saw if you've watched this far into the video uh, it was actually super choppy so we were unable to fish the waters which did kind of suck but uh it was a great trip overall we caught lots of little rock cod I screwed up on one species though the kelp greenling I kept calling it a lane but uh, it's actually a cup greenling. And I thought, why not keep it? I mean, if it was a shiner perch or a bullhead, that would be a different story. But it's a kelp greenling. Lots of people eat them. They're supposedly just like rock cod. And uh, yeah, it was delicious. We ate lots of uh, rock cod and fresh caught seafood. So uh, it just tasted absolutely delicious. And uh, it was a great experience. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, though. It was a bit longer than average, but I still hope you